it's a really good movie and it's a lot of fun but it's also about some really serious subject matter world war ii um, obviously an incredibly serious time and completely bonkers when you think about it if world war ii didn't actually happen and someone wrote a story about world war ii happening you wouldn't believe it, it, it it's completely mad what happened during that period and these guys and girls going through this mission which was essentially a suicide mission and being enormously successful and then you tie that up with some of the guy Richie madness and it makes for a wonderful movie to watch I mean Marjorie Stewart herself was just one of the few amazing incredible women that changed the trajectory of World War II uh, the SOE women were pivotal changed the 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 amount of um, how they could infiltrate in a different way than the the men could was pretty spectacular. The more I read about them, nor, I mean, there's so many incredible women that I studied and uh, dived into, and I just was um, moved deeply by the efforts and the things that they did to, you know, honor their country and what they, I mean, it's spectacular, the work that they did in, in the war. Gus March Phillips. I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules, so neither are we. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. Well, the reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. Luckily, uh, a lot less physical, uh, weirdly. Alan, Alan got most of the running around. Um, I'm the explosive expert, so I'm sort of applying a little C4 there. And, um, but in fact, you know, back in those days, it wasn't really hand-to-hand -hand combat, so shooting, like terrible things like that. So not much physical stuff, which is great. I mean, I had a little bit of experience in the gun training prior to this. Um, so it wasn't that bad. Actually, my gun training was Guy Ritchie screaming, okay, pull it, shoot, left, right, down. That was basically my warm-up and my shot, and it's all on screen. So you will tell me how was my training. Oh, my God, running around at night and explosions happening, you know, on the harbor uh, was a special thing because it's like this is a big proper action thing with a unique eye of Guy Ritchie. It was just wonderful. It was really, really special. They built a, a, a town at the harbor, you know, just for the film, and it looked, it felt, it was like a real town. Um, I think that's really special. All the craftspeople that are involved in making this stuff is just unbelievable. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. Let's go! They're all... Bad. They'll need to be. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. Being stuck on a boat with them for like a week at a time, um, just out on the azure of, of, of the Mediterranean. And um, I think just all being together and hanging out, we would hang out like every single day. So it was, it was, it was life changing. I don't know how to explain it sort of better, but it was life changing. We stayed in a, in a, in a hotel together and it being an ensemble piece, you get a lot, a, a lot of time off. So Turkey was, was where we filmed in Turkey. So it was really nice to do all the stuff on set, but also spend time together off set. But it didn't feel like work. When we did get called in to all do our stuff together, it didn't feel like work. It was an honor, it was a pleasure. Um, I feel like just ensemble pieces are always kind of more fun. So yeah. My grandfather, uh, was Lieutenant Colonel Billy McLean, was in special operations. And so he used to regale me as a kid with his exploits uh, in Albania in 1943. So yeah, it was, it's a very personal film for me.